Hi y'all, this is Dan at Aqualife Studio. I just wanted to introduce you to our Coral Quarantine Tank. A uh, short story on this tank is a Red Sea Reefer 170 that we've had for about four years now. That's what originally got us into this hobby. That way I'd be able to uh, get a nightlight for this little girl over here. Her name is Zoe Kate Purdue. Yes honey, this is gonna be on YouTube. So this Red Sea Reefer 170 has been used to house fish, but right now it is our coral quarantine and uh, yeah, the invert quarantine. So um, it's been in operation for quite a while. I do not clean the glass all the time. It's not a display tank anymore. Let me show you here. So the sump area, all custom plumbing for a couple, um, actually three media reactors that are supposed to be in here, but uh, well, if I want to hook them up anyway, uh, they, they are ready to be able to do so. Uh, it would have been bio pellets, GFO, and carbon simplicity skimmer that we have there in the front. But uh, because we don't have fish in this right now, the water is actually pretty clean as far as the parameters go. So what's really unique about this setup is that I also had built a MDF-based cabinet. So that's what you have over here for all the electronic equipment. You're going to see here through uh, the acrylic window. It's a nice little kind of a blue smoky color to go along with it. So the GHL controllers, the Prophylax 4 at the top, KH Director. Got a couple of uh, 2.1 uh, dosers by GHL. The reservoir is here. And that's going to house uh, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and then the KH reagent that you have. So down here, the Ecotech Marine. Uh, the M2 driver as well as an MP10. It's a uh, wireless quiet drive and then the main switch panel here for the other components like the skimmer, heater, and whatnot. So I'll show you the back side. So you see down here. Now this entire cabin is custom built for the dimensions that I wanted. I got a battery backup for the tank just in case. If it's anything worse, we also have a generator. But uh, I'm in the process of all, also taking all these power bricks and having them mounted where they're supposed to be, keep all the wires nice and neat down here. So just want to give you a quick walk around. You're not going to see an autom a, a top-off container in this because I have it pumped up using the GHL dosers from our basement storage area. So anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I am always happy to answer any of your questions. Take care. Bye-bye. You can say Zoe bye-bye too.